Okay, on a Swinger 100, there's some modifications to the differential and gear case that'll improve its longevity. If you've ever had the pinion pile up, it's quite catastrophic. Taking out the ring gear and the pinion and leaving a bunch of parts in the bottom. So there's a design flaw with the Swinger 100 transfer case and differential that the weight of the pump is pulling on the bolts so much that eventually it slumps down and braces need to be welded in to prevent the movement. One of the problems with the uh, transfer case and uh, differential connection is there's a poor oil seal here, especially if there's any movement, and it allows water to get into the differential case. And uh, my solution was to uh, pack a lot of silicone sealant RTV in that when I do reassembly. Because the hydraulic motor is pulling down, it torques the top of the gear case down and the bolts at the bottom on this side aren't substantial enough. The bolts on this side do a good job, but if, if you cut a piece of metal and drill holes for the bolts and bolt it into onto the gear case and then weld it to the frame on the left side on the right side there's a small piece that you cut and drill for two bolts and then for the very top there's a longer piece and uh, because the gear case is uneven, you'll have to either use spacers or you just run the uh, studs through with a nut there and space it out a quarter of an inch. Uh, when a person welds them in place, you have to turn the transmission vertical so that you can get the alignment you put a dial indicator on the yoke with this gear cover removed and then you dial in for the surface to make sure that it's level and square is to weld a nut into the yoke on the differential so you take the nut, tighten it up to the right torque, and then <clears throat> purchase a socket and weld it into place. That'll stop the nut from working itself loose and the pinion from destroying itself.